reading from Amos, the seventh chapter. The ninth verse, and the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuary of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will, will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then said Amaziah, the priests of Bethel sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos have conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away captives out of their own land. And Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their own land. That was Amos. The eighth, the ninth to the eleventh was. I know we are a little bit captive out of our own land. But I have to talk about Thomas Sakara, who was the president of Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso in West Africa. He was the president at the age of 39. He ended corruption. He gave himself only a, a salary of $450 a month. He lived simply. Money and love meant nothing to him. He was interested only in rising his people. He had a very good best friend, almost a, a brother, by the name of uh, Blaise, B L A I S E, and his last name is, let me see if I can pronounce it, Ekempa Ore. Kempa Ore, C A M P O A O R E, Kempa Ore, but almost like a brother to him. But Thomas Sakara, who was rising his people up, he was anti imperialist. The French hated him, they could not control him. So who do they did they put in place? But his very close friend, Blase Campaore. And it's interesting because Blase Campaore is a mason. I mean, a speculative mason in the Grand French Lodge. So they assassinated everything implicated. The mason, Kemper Aure, and the French had Thomas Sakara assassinated. 
Like I said, he was an anti imperialist is making kind of a socialist nation out of Burkina Faso. And his very close friend took over the, the presidency of Burkina Faso. Now everybody is singing the praises of Thomas Sakara was similar to Fidel Castro, an anti-imperialist. The French could not control him. He was only 39 years old when he was assassinated. He was building, building roads, hospitals, schools. He said, there had to be something for everybody, but not more than what they need. He tried to stop his ministers in his administration from flying first class. He said first, second, and third class in the airplane, they all go up at the same time. And it, it all come down at the same time. First class don't land ahead of the second and third class. He wanted to give one card to two each two ministers, every two ministers, but they talk him against that. So he gave each all the use of one card to one minister instead of one call for two ministers. He tried to clean out corruption entirely. So he was creating enemies with his own circle who wanted to live off the people, live high off the people. Many of the time, in Africa, the politicians want to become politicians so they can sponge the money and live high. Well, there are so many people living poor. So this Blase, B-L-A-I-S-E, Kempa R-A, was driven out of office. He kept office for 27 years and he wanted to stay for longer. He wanted to change the constitution. But the young people in uh, Burkina Faso rose up and did not allow that to happen. And now, they are looking to bring him into a tribunal court, tribunal court for crime. And like I said, the Thomas Sakara was assassinated, then they gave a mason was Blase Campaave the seat of the president? Now I'm praying. As we need prayer for protection. And protection for even from those who look like us. Even from those who look like us. But not of us, that they sold out for power and prestige. So I'm in one, seeking your protection, your power, your might, your understanding.
You know, guy lives. May your peace, that my soul may be at peace. Our soul may be at peace and undisturbed and unworried. Know that there is a fire protection around me. Protect me, guiding my mouth, my understanding, my hearing, my sight. Only the Spirit come around me. Why should we accept a Spirit not our own? Let our Spirit be cleansed. Let our mind be cleansed. Let our thoughts be cleansed. Now and forevermore, we just accept the Holy Spirit. Let me guide me, keeping the unclean spirit away. Unclean spirits away. Unclean spirits away. Guide me with the Holy Spirit. The holy might, even in this time of the plague, no matter what that ugly spirit may get into what body, whether white body, black body, young body, brown body, whatever body is using, and stay away from us. Only the right people for every right purpose. Let's not be paranoid or afraid at this time of the season. Be friendly and respect to both to all persons. Respect those who respect us. But let's respect them first. Be friendly to those who are friendly to us. But be friendly to them first. Love those who love us. But be loving to others first. Do not take anybody for granted. Neither to show anybody take me for granted. For I am who I am. That's all I can be. Amen.